Breaking, Sean Hannity exposes major scandal. This is nasty by Mark Pervolovic for ChristianNewsAlerts.com. One mainstream media news outlet has sunk to a new low, deliberately using misleading pictures in one of their latest stories. According to the Washington Times, Sean Hannity, his team, and Fox News are angry with the New York Times for deliberately using the worst possible photo of him in their story in an attempt to make the respected conservative voice look bad. A profile of one of Fox News' main news personalities for the December 3rd edition of the New York Times Magazine went well with the Times choosing to interview Sean Hannity for the story. However, Mr. Hannity told his radio listeners that an image used to promote the magazine was misleading and went too far. My staff is upset about it, he added, referring to a picture they used of him open-mouthed and yelling at the readers. People at Fox are upset about it. The New York Times goes for anger, and that's exactly what they did. Mr. Hannity went on to speculate that this might be a deliberate attempt to paint conservatives as angry, something that the liberal media has had a habit of doing. Did the New York Times do this on purpose because that's the way they want to portray conservatives? That's the question, he asked. How far will Sean Hannity go? What does that mean? How far I'm going to go in my career? Does it mean how far will Hannity go before he falls? I mean, what is the point here? The Fox News personality added that the phot photographer Christopher Griffith was nice to him, but picked the worst possible photo to use. Mr. Hannity noted that the online version of the article features a three-photo panel with various expressions, while the cover version features only his angry appearance pictured in the center. I got it. So, at New York Times, takes one hundreds and hundreds of pics, Obviously, they picked the best one, tweeted Mr. Hannity. At times, spokesperson said in an email to that Hannity was energetic and animated while being photographed according to the Hill. Our photography team was delighted by how energetic and animated uh, Sean Hannity was at the photo shoot, the spokesperson wrote. As for Hannity's objection to conservatives being portrayed as angry, he told our writer, Matthew Scheer, that his own approach on both TV and radio is as follows. My thoughts are the same. I'm mad. Hannity's show finished last month as the most watched host in cable news, with the 55-year-old commentator drawing in 3.2 million total viewers and 686,000 uh, viewers in the important 25 to 54 news demographic. It's marked the first full month at the 9 p.m. slot, replacing MSNBC's Rachel Maddow for the top slot, uh, spot in cable news. Regardless of Mr. Hannity, Mr. Hannity had uh, little criticism over the actual content of the story itself, which described the Fox News personality as bringing a reverence for the military and law enforcement nostalgia for an America that Hannity feels is slipping away, disdain for the mainstream media, and since the last presidential election, unyielding support for the agenda of Donald Trump, as written in the New York Times article. This seems like a deliberate attempt to portray this respectable voice in conservative news as being angry. It is an unfair characterization and something that people who know Mr. Hannity strongly object to. Yeah, he shouldn't have even, but then again, that's his business, you know. Doesn't he know that this is what they're going to do to him? Basically, that's what they do to conservatives. They, they attack them any which way they can. And since he's uh, on top, uh, they, they want to get him 
you know. And he was probably just playing around, you know, just nonchalantly posing for the pictures as the photographers telling him uh, angry or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, they could have done a better, uh, a better job or at least, you know, had one and then uh, two normal shots or something. I don't know. It, it, they're just a mess anyway. Nobody listens to the New York Times anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.